Welcome back, Gundam guys and Gundam gals. Patrick Grade here from GGInfiniteNews.com. This time, I'm bringing you the video unboxing for the high grade Universal Century Unicorn Gundam Banshee in Destroy Mode. So, we just took a look at the Banshee in Unicorn Mode. So, here it is in Destroy Mode. And the artwork on the box here is a lot more energetic than it was on the Unicorn Mode because, of course, he's all psycho flamed up or psycho framed up. So, some very dynamic artwork here on the front. With a lot of red flames shooting out of the armored BS here, which was one of the two main weapons for the Unicorn Gundam Banshee. It's a really nice artwork. The goal looks nice on the front here. And you see some of the Unicorn Gundam in Unicorn mode in the background. Uh, so this is a pretty cool box art. Along the side, of course, again, the front and back uh, product shots. Story information about the Banshee Unicorn and of course the technical specs of the mobile suit which is about two meters taller in uh, destroyed mode than it is in unicorn mode some real nice artwork here the glowing gold looks really nice there in the product shot and of course on the opposite side here we see the detail shots and action poses showing off the gold psycho frame some pretty cool action poses there showing off all the articulation as well as the details about the armored VN and BS and the two HDUC kits there side by side. This guy goes for a little under $25 on gginfinite.com, so stop by there to pick up your own. All right, so here's a look at the A-plate uh, from the Destroy Mode Unicorn Gundam, which is nearly identical to the version from the Unicorn Gundam, except for the gold piece down here for the face plate. Uh, that's the only additional piece that was included on this A-plate. Otherwise, it's all the same. The black plastic and the inner frame gray and the gold. So here's a look at the B plate uh, which of course is the dark blue pieces for the separated shield, the top and the bottom for the shield, uh, thigh pieces which have the new gap in it for the psycho frame to show through, and the skirt pieces have the separate uh, pieces for the flaps that fold out and expose the psycho frame underneath. So we get two identical C plates again. Uh, with parts for the armor for the shoulders, legs, feet, waist, and all that kind of good stuff. And here's a look at the D-plate, which has parts for the thrusters, the uh, backpack beam saber handle holders, the feet, as well as the beam magnum uh, for the weapon. And you can see the E-clip is molded into the plastic here, so there's no color separation on the weapon. And there's a secondary E-clip here for... Uh, backup storage. Alright, so here's the G plate, which is a small plate of the orangey gold. It has parts for the transform V fin, the collar armor, and psycho frame for the weapons. So here is the E plate, which finishes up the parts of the orangey gold. We have parts for the shield, the psycho frame for the backpack, the shoulders, the feet, all that good stuff here. So quite a quite a bit of the orangey gold on this this plate. So here is the F plate which has the transformed versions of the armored BS and armored VN as well as a blue hand and some chest pieces and stuff. So here's a look at the plate of polycaps that are molded in the gold plastic but it's a different shade of gold that we saw in the rest of the kit so it's a little odd to have it in this color. This is more similar to the gold that was in the Strike Freedom Gundam Master Grade and a couple other ones, but hopefully it won't look too bad when the kit's all put together. You shouldn't see too many of the polycaps anyway, just maybe in the shoulder, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And here's a sheet of stickers for this kit. Like the Unicorn Mode, quite a few gold and black stickers. And of course, uh, the red for the eyes and the sensors on the weapon. So we'll see how these look on the kit when we put it all together. And here's a look at the manual. A typical layout for the HGUC line. A nice front shot here on front with all of the spec details for the kit. On the back we get a repeat of the story information for the kit, the color guide, and it suggests that we use a red lining marker here for the channels on the psycho frame uh, to give it some standout qualities. And the action and rear view poses here on the top. Inside we get a nice action pose here of the Destroy Mode Unicorn Banshee. See a lot of the nice gold poking through there. 
And here's the current lineup for the HGUC Unicorn series. The two Unicorn Gundam modes, the Delta Plus, the Jesta, and the GN3. And of course another three or four pages of directions to put everything together. So typical fare for the HGUC line. It shouldn't be too difficult to get together. Alright, so we've taken a look at everything that comes in the box. So there's a decent amount of plastic to clean and cut, but it shouldn't take me too long to get it all ready. And hopefully I'll have the review up by the end of the weekend. So please stay tuned for that review and the review of the uh, unicorn mode of the Banshee. And please leave me a comment down below, like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the comments and subscriptions. And of course follow the link provided in the info section of this video uh, to get your own kit at gginfinite.com. And stay tuned for more video reviews. Thanks a lot.